let's take a break and talk about some of the more fun stuff in your terminal and that is theming it or pimping it out to look exactly how you want it so uh, a lot of people ask me and a lot of times you see screenshots of developers working in they got all kinds of crazy colors they got a really cool prompt and people always ask like how did you get that and, and how can i get something that's similar to that so uh, let's dive into that now so let's start breaking it down by there are two parts um, there are two kind of different things that you need to change in order to get colors. The first one is your prompt and the prompt is essentially what shows up right here when you hit enter. So right now I've got mine set up to show a little cross and I've got my Dropbox and I've got kind of my present working directory set up right here. Um, actually, if I were to uh, initialize a GitHub repository, uh, it would also show me kind of what branch I'm on as well as uh, the state. So right now uh, it's yellow because I have stuff to add. If I were to add everything and if I were to commit that uh, initial commit, there we go. And I just committed it. Now it's green, which means that uh, I don't have like a dirty state or anything like that. So uh, kind of nice to be able to customize your, your whole prompt as well as the colors that surround it. So that's the first part. I'm just going to hit command K to clear everything out. Uh, the second part is uh, the actual colors that get used. So uh, my background here is kind of a blue color. This green here, how does it know to use that specific green or this specific yellow, uh, this specific blue? You get the point, right? Um, so those are actually the iTerm or the terminal or whatever program you're using. The colors are set in that. So uh, let's start with that. We'll start with creating your own theme. Um, and then once we've done that, we'll move on over into creating a custom prompt. So let's start with the kind of basic colors, the background and whatnot. So what we need to do is open up our preferences. So an easy way is command uh, comma, and that will open up your preferences. If you don't know how to do that, uh, just go to iTerm in the top left hand corner and click on preferences. Uh, we want to head on over to the profiles tab. You think it might be appearance, but it's actually in profiles and we're going to create ourselves a new profile. A profile has all kinds of user specific stuff in terms of like how many lines should it keep or is there transparency on the window or is my cursor a box or is it a vertical bar or, or what is it? So we want to go ahead and create our own one. So on the left hand here click the plus button and we'll go ahead and call it my color scheme and by default it actually doesn't uh, set it the star is the active one right now i'm using cobalt 2 by west boss that's the theme that i've created but we're going to create a new one so uh, select it on the side here click other actions and set as default um, and what that will do is it will set that one as uh, your default color scheme. It still says new profile, but if you click away and back, it'll say my color scheme. What we want to do is go ahead and open up a brand new tab and you'll notice that the color scheme actually didn't change. Uh, well, it did, but we haven't changed it yet. It's, it's inherited the styles from the previous one. In my case, it's the blue one. In your case, it may be a little bit different. So what we want to do is click on the colors tab here and at the bottom we have the ability to do uh, loading presets or even importing one that you found online. So you may say, hey, I like Cobalt 2. Um, I've got it available up on GitHub right here and you want to download this Cobalt2.itermcolors. We'll head back here, load presets, import, you'd be able to select that file. However, now let's let's build our own. So load presets let's start maybe if you click on pastel it gives you a default pastel dark gives you a dark color tango here let me get some stuff on the screen here so we can see exactly uh, what everything is go into the command line ll lsl pwd just to get some stuff on the screen and see what that looks like now if we go ahead and select some of the colors here you see the background is by default black but if i were to slide this bar around and just kind of select whatever colors i want you'll see it changes in real time so that's the background um we have these ansi colors here so black what color is black maybe you want like just a bit of a 
you can see that black is being used for the, the text here. So if I change that black to be like maybe like a slightly different black, you might like the look of that, the red, the yellow. That's what I did in mine. The default yellow is this kind of muddy yellow and I like it to be nice and bright. So I brought it right up. Green, this green I think is being used for uh, my tag right here. So if I change this green to be something a little bit more in line with, with what I want, you can see you get the point. Um, you have all of these available colors and you're able to change it. However, you're not able to say, I want this to be blue. I want this thing to be green. You're simply able to say when a program uses green, when a program uses red, when a program uses blue, use this color blue and it will go along. Um, so that's your basic color scheme, uh, how you want it. You can also take a look at some of these things. You can play around with the cursor. You can play around if you want an underline, see it's just an underline there for me, or you want a vertical bar, you want a box. If you want it to blink, you can do that. I'm sure if I go here, see it blinks. Uh, you can change your font, which is something that we're going to need to do uh, in just a second, uh, as well as a non-ASCII font. So that's the basic colors. I recommend that you play around and, and, and have some fun with that, uh, or just jump online and there's all kinds of iTerm uh, color files available out there. So I'm going to switch back to my cobalt theme because I just made a mess of this right here. So set as default, if I close this down and I open up a brand new one, or if I just go back here, uh, I am back on my nice blue cobalt theme. In the next video, we're going to take a look at the prompt and how do we get a custom prompt as well as what are the different themes that we can use with Zeta Sage. I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you check out my book and video series, Sublime Text Power User at sublimetextbook.com. Use coupon code command line for 10 bucks off. As always, make sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Westboss, W-E-S-B-O-S. -S. Talk to you again soon.